Alright, this is Mexican Mama. We got you new iPhone 6S and comparing it to the old, well, not that old, Galaxy S6. Alright, this is Mexican Mama. We got the iPhone. Fuck. This is, this is Mexican Mama. We got the brand new iPhone 6S and the. Samsung flagship Galaxy S6 in comparison, and we'll bring to you that right now. Alright, so here are my thoughts on the iPhone 6, the brand new one, 6S, uh, and I still have the Galaxy S6. Both great phones. Yes, it's only on display right now. Those are the two daily drivers that I have. Um, Great phone. Uh, Apple always makes great quality phones. Um, simple. Everyone uh, with one brain cell can do it or can use it. Uh, Samsung, Android has always been more customization. You know, it's uh, like like this real widgets, not the drop down widgets that they got that are still missing. I like the fact that the widget right there is noticeable. Um, what I like is it finally, finally has the 12 megapixel camera and able to use 4K video recording, which is pretty nice. Um, very smooth, fluid, 2 gigs of RAM now, instead of the usual one. It's got a new processor, the A9, which is very snappy, very responsive, I love it. Um... Just little things that I don't like personally, like say if I'm in the camera, very, very easy to switch from video, photo, slow-mo to time-lapse and so on and so on on the iPhone. Right here, I would have to go to mode and switch them out right there. So that's a 1.4 uh, iPhone. Um, other like the settings, I don't like how the settings are not on the the iPhone. Whoop. On the iPhone, like say I can switch right here 12 12 megapixel camera. I can just switch right there, push a button, boom boom, and then go back to the camera right here. Cannot do that. There's no button. There is no button, no easy access. I would have to go to the settings and switch out the set, uh, settings for the camera on uh, the settings app, which is a little not a hassle, but it's just inconvenient. Then um, also the uh, live button, that pretty cool option. Um, something that the, the six. The S6 does. I, I'm gonna get jumbled up. I'm just gonna say Samsung and iPhone because I'm I'm 6s S6. I get confused and I'm gonna get you guys confused. And then um, pretty much uh, it's still f.2.2 aperture, I believe on the iPhone, and a 1.8 on the uh, Galaxy. So low level lights, uh, low level light pictures should be a lot better on the Galaxy. But I don't know. It came out pretty good with me. Um, I will load up some pictures on, on uh, the screen for a few moments here, and I'm going to name which one's the iPhone, which one's the Samsung, so I'm going to have the 4K resolution, but unfortunately, it's going to get compressed down to uh, 1080p, so you guys decide. Me, personally, I like the bigger screen, so I'm going to go with the Galaxy. Not a full comparison, but somewhat of a comparison between these two phones. The Samsung flagship that had changed everything you know from the full metal frame to the, the full black of it and the uh, full glass panel um, this one has wireless charging and this one does not um, true NFC on the Samsung and the NFC just to pay with the Apple Pay on this card uh, on this phone right here and then this one just introduced as well Samsung Pay and Google Pay and some other pays let me see there's Google Wallet and then there is what is it a Samsung Pay, and then there was another Pay that kind of 
like kind of made me a little mad. There's more bloatware added to it. Um, but other than that, these phones are great. You're, I don't really care about how many pixels per inch. Um, on all that technical stuff everyone uh, talks about. I use it for daily use. Daily use only. We don't really have this particular. Like if you use it, you will not notice any difference between the pixel density. Um, the screen, I believe, on the iPhone is a lot brighter, so colors might pop out more, as you can see on on the camera. But uh, they both got their simplicity. Um, I don't have a preference. Honestly, if you want really simple where everything is just right in front of you, like say all your apps are right in front of you, there's no extra button, that's your preference. Um, I personally like the back button, but it's either or. A few things, like I like the swipe to go back and swipe to go forward, and then I like the either phone. Either phone is great. You can go either one, but we'll see when the uh, Galaxy S7 and the uh, iPhone 7 comes out. We'll see how that is. But finally, iPhone stepped up behind as much. It took them forever. Enough time to get at least 12 mega upgrade that camera, you know, 12 megapixels. Be able to get 4K recording. Um, I'll show you guys the videos on and the pictures of the differences between each phone. And you guys be my dis deciders. Um, you know, let me know what you think. This is Mexican Mamba. I'm out. Please like, subscribe, comment, dislike. The 4K shoot in the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's the only box I got in front of me, so. Alright, this is the new 4K video shooting. This is the uh, iPhone 6S. 4K in very low light situation.